Hello everyone and welcome to part 9, the conclusion of this video series. In this part, we'll go over a recap of all the features we built and what we learned from doing this. First and foremost, the user is able to search for a stock. Once they've entered some text, they'll be able to press the enter button or click on the search button. Then they'll see a list of stock symbols. Once a user clicks on a stock, all the data will be updated. This includes the chart data, as well as the overview and the details section. We can also see that there's a chart filter. The user can select one day, one week, one month, or one year, and the chart updates accordingly. We also built a theme selector, so the user can choose between light or dark colors. Lastly, we've also implemented some CSS transitions. For example, when we hover, there's a fade effect. Let's have a quick recap of all the things we learned. First and foremost, we learned React hooks, including useState and useEffect. We also learned how to style components with Tailwind CSS. Next, we learned how to fetch data from the FinHub REST API. In order to display a chart data, we learned how to use the ReCharts library. And lastly, we learned React context for global state. This included our theme context and the selected stock context. If you enjoyed any of the content in this video series, I would really appreciate the like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments some recommendations for future videos. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.